Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's session. Welcome to our today's session. Today, I would want us to look at uh, quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis is what I want us to look at today. And specifically, I would want us to right away go to regression analysis analysis, the topic of uh, discussion is quantitative analysis. Quantitative analysis, or rather regression analysis. Regression analysis, regression analysis. Great. So, if you have been able to see this particular video, I expect you to go ahead and share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Great. So here we are. So we'd want to look at regression analysis. So when we talk of regression analysis, ladies and gentlemen, what is regression analysis? Regression is a statistical model. It is a statistical model, a statistical model that is used to derive, that is used to derive equations of the form of y equals a plus bx, equations of the form, y equals a plus bx, y equals a plus bx. Of course, if you are keen enough, you'll be able to bear witness with us that this is a straight line equation. If it's a straight line equation, ladies and gentlemen, then we need to appreciate the very fact that, the very fact that a is the y-intercept. So a here is the y-intercept. This is the y-intercept and the b is the gradient, B is the gradient. And the most important thing is for us to appreciate that for us to be able to get B, we shall not go the easier way of talking of change in Y over change in X, the gradient way. Ladies and gentlemen, this is regression, which gives us a special way of getting the gradient. And for us to get the gradient here, B, we normally talk of change not change, but uh, we normally talk over. Uh, that is the easier one. That is the easier one. For us here to be able to get B using the regression way, B will be N summations of X, Y, minus summation of X, summation of Y. All over, we have here N summations of X squared, N summations of X squared, minus into brackets here, sum of X done what here, squared like that. So this is the gradient approach, the regressions approach, of getting the gradient, regression approach of getting our gradient. Once we get the gradient, then to get the y-intercept is quite an easy thing. To get the y-intercept, which is our A, it is normally obtained by us taking summation of y minus B, summation of x, all over what here? All over n. Summation of y minus B, summations of x, all over n. So what are we learning here, ladies and gentlemen, that first of all, if it's simple regression, the one that is used to ascertain this kind of a, a function, if it's a simple regression, the one that is used to ascertain this kind of a, a function, we must first of all get the gradient because we need the gradient here in ascertainment of what here? A, in ascertainment of A. Now, I would want us to use a very simple uh, illustration to illustrate this particular concept of what here, how to come up with the two parameters. So assuming you are given two parameters here, x, y, and then they give you, for example, values of x, for example, 1, 3, and then we have 8. Values of y, perhaps they could talk of 2, 7, and for example, 11 like that. So 3, n, n here is 3, 3 points, n is 3. And then we are required to develop a regression equation. Required, develop a regression equation, develop a regression what here? Equation. So how do we get to develop 
a regression equation. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that regression is all about getting values of B and what year A. Regression is about getting values of B and A. So we start with a B. Remember the formula is here. The formula is here. N stands for what? N stands for a number of points. N stands for number of points. If you count them on a Cartesian plane, one point, a point like this is defined by the X and the Y coordinate, right? So this is point number one, point number two, point number three. So our N here is three. Our N here is three. And once I have my N, what I'll do straight away is to come and create two additional columns, a column here for getting X, Y, because I would want to take care of this, and a column here for getting X squared. So in this case, we must create two columns, two additional columns, which will help us to get all the parameters we need for purposes of getting this B and A. So X, Y means what? That I'm multiplying. So like one times two. One times two gives me X, Y. One times two gives me two. Three times seven gives me 21. Eight times 11 gives me 88. And then here I am wanting to square X values. X values here squared. One squared gives us one. Three squared gives us nine. Three squared gives us nine. Eight squared gives us 64. Ladies and gentlemen, remember that regression is basically a summations model. And if it's a summations model, now I want to come and sum, get the sum of X, sum of Y, get sum of X, Y, and the sum of what here? X squared, X squared. So could you kindly help me do that very fast? Kindly help me do that very fast. What do we have here, somebody? So we start with the first one, which is summations of what here? Which is summations of, summations of X. So summations of X, what do we have here? Summations of X, what do we have here? So we have here, this is quite simple. It's one plus three plus eight, which gives me summation of X is 12. Then we have summation of Y is two plus seven plus 11, which gives me summation of Y here is 20. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, summation of X, Y. Summation of X, Y, we have 23. This and this is 23 plus 88. 23 plus 88 gives us one, one, one like that. And then we have summations of X squared. So summations of X squared, what do we have? 10 plus 64. That is 70, what year? 74. 10 plus 64 is 74. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment I've gotten those parameters, those summations very nicely, all that I need to do now is to come and plug them in here, is to come and substitute. So come and substitute here, what do we have? Our B will be equal to N. N you've just told me is three, three times summations of X, Y. Summations of X, Y already have that figure. It is 111 minus, ladies and gentlemen, summations of X. Summations of X, I have it here. It is 12. This multiplied by summations of Y that I happen to be having here, which is 20 all over N. N again, my N number of points we had uh, already find that was three. So three multiplied by summations of X squared. So many students confuse here. You'll always get them telling you that this is the same as 12 squared. No, look at this. First of all, they want us to square the X values. So they are talking of these summations of X squared here, which is 74. So we have here times 74, now minus, the sum of X, the sum of X, the sum of X, I already have it here. The sum of X here is 12. So 12, what here squared? 12 squared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from there, we shall come right away and get our numerator and the denominator. Get our numerator and denominator separately before we get the quotient. So then this will be three times 111 minus 12 times 20 which gives me 93, which gives me 93 there. How about the denominator? This is three times 74 minus 144. You see, you see in this case here, 12 squared is 144 minus 144, which will end up giving me 78. It is the quotient that I want here. I want you to divide this for me. So this is 93 divided by 78. So 93 divided by 78 gives me 
uh, 1.192, 1.192 like that, 1.192. And once I've gotten the value of B, ladies and gentlemen, what I need to do now right away is to come here, is to come here and get the value of A. B is a prerequisite. It's something that we need in advance for us to be able to get A. So then how do we get our A, ladies and gentlemen, having gotten B, I will straight away give you the value of A. And for us to get the value of A, we'll talk of summation of Y minus B summation of X all over N. So we have summations of Y minus B summations of X all over N. So summation of Y, already I have it. It is 20. This is 20 minus B. B, the figure that we have just obtained here, which is 1.192, 1.192, 1.192, 1 yes, times summations of x, summations of x, which is 12 here, all over our number of points. Remember the number of points we had defined this earlier on. We got this as what here? We got this at three. We got this as three, like that. So what we need to do is to come very fast here, is to come very fast here and talk of 20 minus 1.1, 92 minus 1.192 times what here times 12. You say equals, and then you come and divide this by what here by three, which gives us 1 1.899, 1.8, 1.8, 1.899, 1.899, 1.899. Now, once I have A and I happen to be having B, it doesn't stop there. Remember the examiner told us to define a regression equation. The examiner asked us to define a regression equation. Let's define a regression equation. Let's define a regression equation. Let's define a regression equation. Our regression equation, ladies and gentlemen, looks like this. So we have here Y equals A plus BX. Now that we already we have the A, we have the B. These are the connectors, regression connectors, parameters that connect between Y and what here? Between Y and X. So in this case here, our Y will be equal to A. Fortunately, we know that our A is 1.899, 1.899, 1.899, plus B that we had gotten earlier on of 1.192 what year? x and really that now becomes our what here our regression equation that becomes our regression equation that becomes our regression equation is there anybody who has any question anybody who has any question remember the beautiful thing with reading uh, with these videos you can always uh, stop rewind you can always do whatever you want to do with them they're quite nice to follow they are quite nice to follow. So ladies and gentlemen, I would want to urge all those of you who would want to buy these video classes from us. The video classes from us, please get in touch with us immediately. 0719, 525,000 is our number, is our number. Once ladies and gentlemen, you buy, once you buy our video classes at 3,500, at 3,500, we shall be able to give you all the videos covering the entire syllabus, all the videos covering the entire syllabus, plus our RCMs, revision what year, revision kit. You can imagine 3,500 for QA, entire syllabus. And then we will be able to give you, we'll be able to give you our what year, revision kit, for free, our revision kit for free. That's a very good offer that you need to grab. And of course, uh, take it uh, before it is gotten off the shelf. Remember offers are never indefinite. Offers are never indefinite. They normally come to an end. They normally come to an end. So I'd want to take a little break. And of course, during the break time, I expect ladies and gentlemen, any student who will be having any type of a, a question, to put it forth, you could perhaps talk to us, or ladies and gentlemen, you could go ahead and there, even type, you type there. I'll be able to see what kind of question you have. It could be regarding what here, regarding what I've just taught you called regression, or it could be regarding the kind of offer that I've given you. But most importantly, don't forget our phone, our telephone, our telephone, our telephone for any inquiries, 
we have here 0719, 525, what year? Thousand. So you can either call or do what year or you WhatsApp. You either call or you WhatsApp. Either call or you do what year? You WhatsApp. Great. Okay, so remember the topic is regression analysis. The topic is regression what year? Analysis. The topic is regression analysis. And now I would want us I would want us straight away to go to our revision kits. Those of you who have bought our revision kits, page number 63. Page number 63, our revision kits, page number 63, page number 63. We should be able to get a question there that we should be able to do together. Page number 63, we should be able to get a question there that we will be able to tackle very fast together. Page number 63. Are we there? Page number 63. So that is May 2017, question number 1D. May 2017, question number 1D. May 2017, question number 1D. May 2017, Question number one, dog. May 2017, question number one, dog. May 2017, question number one, D. May 2017, question number one, D. May 2017, question number one, D. Are we there? May 2017. Question number one, D. So before we continue, it will be very important for you to help me reach out to many people outside there. Please help us share, share, share this video to your timelines, on your timelines, on your friends' timelines, on your great groups that you are in, please help us to share. Please help us to share. So that is what exactly I'm doing at the moment. Okay. Great. Great, 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 great. It's May 2017. Question number May 2017. Question number one, dog. May 2017. Question number one, dog. May 2017, question number one, dog. Question number one, dog. May 2017, 
question number one, dog. So we are told here, if you're able to see my screen, we are told, ladies and gentlemen, that Market Intelligence Research Limited carried out a study on nine households to determine the monthly income levels and the amount of expenditure in a card by the households. The results of the study are as shown below. So they've given us monthly income, monthly income versus the expenditure. Monthly income versus the expenditure. So then what do we have here? The least squares regression function relating the monthly income, relating the monthly income and expenditure in a card by the households. And then they want us to interpret our results. So the key thing, ladies and gentlemen, here that very many students confused, which in this case, at the end of the day, so many students are eh, getting a zero in this question. Many students were not able to define the dependent and the independent variables. Many students were not able to define the dependent and the independent what here? Variable. So remember, if for example, you are given, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of an illustration, you are given here, you are given here, for example, output of maize, output of maize, output of maize versus uh, rainfall, versus rainfall, versus rainfall, rainfall amounts. So it is true that the output of maize we shall get is majorly dependent on what year? The rainfall amount. So you are saying that uh, maize output is dependent on rainfall. So you are saying the output of maize is dependent on, is dependent on, is dependent on rainfall. Meaning what, ladies and gentlemen, what this means is straight away that maize becomes the dependent variable. And all dependent variables are normally plotted on the y-axis. All dependent variables are normally taken to be y. The other variable will be called independent. You see rainfall, even if you plant grass, even if you have whatever, rainfall has to come down, right? It's independent. So independent will go to the X like that. The same case, ladies and gentlemen, with something like uh, advertising, 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 advertising versus sales. Advertising versus sales. So advertising versus sales, I have to ask myself if I'm given two variables of this nature, these two variables here, and then somebody wants me to do a regression analysis. The very first thing I will do is to define between the two. Which one depends on the other? Which one depends on the other? Which one depends on the other? Ladies and gentlemen, here it is sales, which is dependent on what here? Advertising. It is sales, which is dependent on advertising. So sales will be Y. Advertising will be what here? X. The one that depends on the other goes to the Y. The one that depends on the other always goes to the Y. It's very important. Like in this question, they have given us two very important variables. They have given us two very important variables. And these variables that they have given us, ladies and gentlemen, if you are keen enough, you will be able to establish the dependence relationship very first. You will be able to establish the dependent relationship very first because they have given us monthly income monthly income versus what year versus expenditure. They have given us monthly income versus expenditure. So between the two, between the two, which one depends on the other? Ladies and gentlemen, between these two, of course, you can't spend what you don't have. My spending is a function of my income. The more the income that I derive out of employment or out of business, the more my spending will be. So here, the expenditure is dependent on the monthly income. So automatically here we have an expenditure, which is Y. And then the monthly income becomes what here? Becomes X. Any student who got wrong on this automatically got, if you missed out on defining this properly in the entire question, of course you got it what here? 100% wrong. You got it 100% wrong. You got that 100% wrong. 
So ladies and gentlemen, now having defined that, everything becomes very easy. So I can see my monthly incomes in shillings, thousands. I can see my expenditure there. Now, if you look at my solution down here, if you look at my solution down here, you will be able, ladies and gentlemen, to see what I've done. You'll be able to see what I did. So you can see X here is the income. Up there it was in thousands, but I decided to do what I decided to have to return the three zeros, but you can work without those three zeros there. Why is my expenditure it's just like uh, how it has been defined in the question? So the only thing that I did was to introduce the two important columns for regression. That is X, Y, and what here somebody X squared, which I've been able to demonstrate. And of course, after introducing the two columns, you can see I went ahead to get the sigmas, to get the summations, like summation of X is here, summation of Y is there, summation of X, Y is there, summation of X squared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment I have those sigmas, now everything boils down to a simple arithmetic. So long as uh, I'm able to remember my formulas, so long as I'm able to remember my formula of B and what here, A. So if it is B, ladies and gentlemen, how do we get B? This is something in regression that I have really to have mastery over. To get B, we normally take N summations of X, Y, minus summation of X, summation of Y. All over what, ladies and gentlemen, here, it is N summations of X squared, summations of X squared, minus into bracket here, sum of X done what here, sum of X squared. And then please don't forget the formula of getting the intercept, the y intercept, the constant. To get the constant, we normally take summation of y minus b summation of x all over what here? All over n. All over n. Very, very important. And here, of course, you'll come and count the number of points. You'll come and count the number of points. So count the number of points. Or rather, even in the question, at times they will tell you. At times they will tell you the number of points. At times they'll tell you the number of points. At times they'll tell you the number of points. Here they never, or, or nine, you can see or nine households. So if they don't tell you that, come and count here. You can see this point number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine. Those are nine points. So N is nine. So when you go to my solution here, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be able to see what I did to get my B you'll be able to see what I did to get my B. You can see in the formula, N, N is nine, times summation of X, Y. Summation of X, Y, you can see 151, to 151,200,000, minus summation of X alone, which is this summation of X like that. So, and I was able to get the value of B. Ladies and gentlemen, having gotten the value of B, the value of B, getting the value of A was not a major problem. You can either decide to divide by N, this individual terms by N, N, that's okay, or you have everything all over nine, which in this case, ladies and gentlemen, was able to give me a fixed expenditure of negative 307.778. And therefore, this is my Y equation. So this Y equation, ladies and gentlemen, of course, A stands for the intercept. The fixed expenditure, of course, is an examination question. I know a negative spending really does not make sense, but in this particular case, we have to take it the way it is. This is the fixed cost. And of course, this is the variable, the variable cost, which in this case, ladies and gentlemen, the variable spending here. So you're saying that uh, out of whatever income that we have here, out of whatever income that we have here, about 13.87% will go for this particular spending. Will go for this particular what here? Spending. Very, very important. So in this case here, this is a variable expense, a variable expense, and this is what here, a fixed expense. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what even made some students here to lose a few marks here, a few marks, I hope this is something you can follow. So long as you have got a screenshot of this, you'll easily follow what I did here to have arrived at this. And then now they came here and asked us in Roman two, in Roman two, in Roman two, in Roman two, you can see they wanted us to give them the expenditure in a card by a household whose monthly income is 30,000. So if the monthly income is 30,000, then what will be the monthly expenditure for these people, for these people? 
quite an easy thing. An easy thing because already I have my formula. Already I have my formula. This is the formula that I have. I have my y equals a plus bx. My y will be equal to a, which is minus three or 7.778 plus 0.1387x. And remember that x is the income. X is the income. And the income is the one they have given us an income of 30,000. So basically they, are one, they want us to give them our expenditure when the income is 30,000, when the income is 30,000. So therefore our Y will be minus three or 7.778 plus 0.1387 times our X, which is what here, 30,000 like that, times 30,000 like that. And the moment you do it that way, then you'll be able to get our what here, our expenditure. We'll be able to get our expenditure, which you can see from our solution, ladies and gentlemen, which you can see from our solution here. We got as a 3 million, or rather 3583. 3583. We got as 3580, what year? 83. We got as 3583. So I hope that is okay. And uh, that marks the end of that particular what year exercise. That marks the end of that particular exercise. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. If possible, please share this particular video uh, with your colleagues in your various uh, groups where you happen to be a member or even on your timeline. And then most importantly, please remember to buy our video classes, the video classes plus our revision kit, plus our revision kit, will cost you Kenya shillings 3,500 only, 3,500 only. And don't forget to just call 0719-525,000 to place you are called. Otherwise, thank you very much. It has been a pleasure hosting all of you. It has been a pleasure hosting all of you this afternoon. Bye-bye. God bless you.